Hey, I'm Dr. Jean, and today I have all sorts of fun activities that you can do with a lunch bag. So, let's just get started. Now, one thing that you can do with a lunch bag is you can make a little village. If you let the children decorate the bag like their house, stuff it with newspaper, and then put a roof on it, you can make a little village. And you can use masking tape to make your roads. You might even want some tall buildings in your little town. So, if you take a lunch bag and turn it upside down, you can decorate it like a building. And then if you take a second bag, open it up, stuff it with newspaper, you can insert the decorated bag over the stuffed bag, and you will have a three-dimensional building. And so a lot of these things are just great for engineering skills, talking about communities, things that we have in communities. Um, another thing that you can do with these bags is you can make different characters. And so you can make people puppets, or you could let the children make a puppet to go with a, a story like Goldilocks and the Three Bears that could decorate the little house. So lots of ways to tie this in with learning activities and literature. Well, of course, you've all done this before. You can make a puppet out of a lunch bag. Now, you could tie this in with a story, let them make a puppet of their favorite character from a story. Maybe you're talking about a period of history. They could make a puppet from that period of history. Maybe you're talking about animals and different habitats. They could do that. Even with the younger children, I've, I've given younger kids a bag before and they'll just scribble on it and then they'll put their hand in it and say, this is my turkey, gobble, gobble, gobble. I mean, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Once their hand is in there, it becomes real for them. And so you can see, you can adapt these activities to lots of different age levels. Now, one thing that's fun to do is to open up the bag and cut it so you've got a rectangle. If you wet it and then wad it up, and then let it dry, you will have something that looks like old paper, and you could use this for a treasure map. You could also use this for the older students to do some writing on it. Maybe you're talking about ancient times, and they could make a, a map of um, hieroglyphics from Egypt or something like that. You can do lots of different writing activities with this. Now, another thing that you can do with bags is you can make a book. If you staple three or four bags together and fold up the bottom flap, you can make like a peekaboo book and you can use this for riddles. What's a bunny's motto? Don't worry, be hoppy. You could also use this with the older kids for a review. Um, what is the capital of South Carolina? Columbia, put the answer under there. And for the younger children, you can use this for visual closure. What is visual closure? Can they see part of an object and identify what it is? So um, guess who this is, and they can open it up, and it's a cap. You can also put letters, parts of letters, parts of shapes, parts of words, different things for children to do with visual closure. Now, another thing you can do with a bag, open it up roll it down from the top and you will have a little nest. And the younger children can roll Play-Doh eggs and put the eggs in the nest. You can also use this at Easter time for an Easter basket. If you just staple a pipe cleaner handle, the kids can even make their own Easter grass by cutting strips of paper and putting it in there and you've got a little Easter basket. Now I know a lot of you um, have seen me make my tree before and so if you just tear down halfway from the top on a lunch bag and then twist it at the bottom and then kind of fluff it up a little bit, you have something that looks like a tree. And this one is a chicka chicka boom boom tree. So the children can write letters and put the letters on the tree. You can tie this in with different holidays and seasons. In the fall, they can tear orange and yellow and red paper and glue it on, glue it on here. Springtime, wad up tissue paper, glue it on here for flowers. Um, summertime, put green leaves on it. Lots of things that you can do with this tree. Um, you can also make pom-poms out of a lunch bag if you draw lines from the top down to the flap, and then the children can cut on these lines. So it's a good cutting activity. 
um, roll up the bottom, roll up the bottom, and then wrap a rubber band around the bottom to make a handle. And you've got a pom-pom that you can choose for cheering words. Give me a G, G, I've got a G, you've got a G. Give me an O, O, I've got an O, you've got an O. What's it spell? Go! One more time, go! Um, you can clap out syllables and words. You can have children repeat patterns. You can just shake them and have fun. You can play Simon Says. Simon Says, put your pom-poms on your shoulders. Simon Says, put your pom-poms behind you. Simon Says, put your pom-pom down. Let's see what else we can do with a lunch bag. If you hide something in here, the children can close their eyes and reach down in there and try to identify what it is. Younger children put one thing, older children put several things and see if they can make a list of the different things that they touch. Lunch bags are great for scavenger hunts and nature hunts. You could go outside and let them find rocks or leaves or signs of spring. There are some really good scavenger hunts online um, that you can choose from for different age levels. When you collect things in nature, <coughs> it's important to remind the children, don't take anything live off a tree or off a bush. It would hurt them. Only pick things up off the ground. After you've taken the objects and you've sorted them and observed them and talked about them, it's always a good idea to take those things back to nature and put them back where you found them. Now, I'm sure you don't have anybody who grumbles or tattles or makes or complains, but you can take a bag and call it the grumble bag. And when people tattle or complain or whine, you can tell them to put it in the bag. And my last little trick with a lunch bag is going to be the invisible ball trick. If you open the bag and you put your tall finger in the bag, and your thumb outside of it, on the outside of the bag, you throw up the invisible ball, and when you pretend to catch it, you snap your finger, and it sounds like you're catching the ball. You just snap your finger and dip the bag a little bit, throw it up, catch it, and snap. It is magic. All of these things are so much fun for kids. Um, you could even give them a bag and let them use their imaginations. And what can you make out of this bag? I think sometimes we make things way too complicated for children and with glitter and sparkles and stickers and everything. And they're happy with plain vanilla, just lunch bag and markers or crayons and construction paper scraps. So thank you for joining me. Now you go bag it.